Welcome. My name is Michael Washenko. I am the owner and founder of the publishing company Lost Alphabet, and today we're going to talk about bookstores. Seemingly every time I talk to other publishers or individual authors, the question arises, should you try and get your book in a bookstore? From a purely economical standpoint, to be honest, I was not sure. So I ran the numbers. We have roughly 30 titles, of which about half are in bookstores. We're going to examine the data from roughly 15 books from the year 2018 and see which was the most beneficial and which was the least beneficial and decide, is it worth it? The first thing to consider is that not all bookstores are created equal. Many bookstores, especially niche bookstores, operate on consignment, which means that you give them the book and then you don't get paid at all unless they sell the book. And if they don't sell the book after a certain amount of time, you don't get anything. We found that in nearly every case, books that were sold on consignment operated at a net loss for both the company and our authors. The next thing we have to look at is do the bookstore negotiate on their terms? For example, many bookstores operate taking a 50% royalty percentage, whereas our royalty formula is built into giving sellers a 30% royalty formula. Do they allow flexibility in this, especially if they're consignment? The extra 20% doesn't seem like a lot, but it really is the difference between being profitable and not being profitable for a lot of books. One of the reasons that only half of our books are in bookstores is because they simply could not be profitable if they sold them at a 50% royalty to bookstores. The next thing we have to do is put bookstores into the greater context of how we sell books. So we primarily sell books three ways, in bookstores, at book fairs, and online. The majority of our sales come from online, and we're going to use that as a benchmark for determining if bookstores are worth it. To examine this, we are going to use the 80-20 principle. The 80-20 principle simply states that roughly 80% of profit comes from 20% of the clients, or 80% of the work comes from 20% as well. So you have it the inverse. So we're looking at which sellers are the highest profit for the least amount of effort, and which ones are the most amount of effort for the smallest amount of profit. In almost all cases, bookstores took up an enormous amount of time invoicing, detailing, shipping, providing relatively little book sales as a result. The profit margin from book sales are also often considerably lower than selling it through our own website online. For example, a bookstore wants five books from one author just to put on their shelves. Now they may sell those books, but the thing is, five books is actually a very small number for the number of books that we sell, and it takes an enormous amount of time to go and write those invoices, collect the payments, send the books out, and then when we're paying authors, kind of collect that data from them and then go and invoice them and pay our authors. Overall, this results in a very small profit margin when you consider the number of hours invested in it. There is one exception to this rule, and that is small niche booksellers, often ones that do not have their own store. For example, we sell our books through Burning House Books in the UK. They consistently over-index, are reasonable with their pricing, and are easy to work with. They're a bookseller that we're going to work with for a long time because they're great on all these fronts. And they perform substantially better than larger retail or individually owned bookstores. The last thing to consider is that in 2018, we had three bookstores steal a combined roughly $1,000 worth of product from us. Of course, this is a horrible situation, and I'm, a lot of bookstores are perfectly great, but a lot of even seemingly reputable bookstores really don't treat smaller publishers or individual authors well, and that's another thing to consider. Something that isn't talked about enough in business is, do you like this person? Are they trustworthy? You know, are they going to treat you well? Let me know your experiences with bookstores in the comments. This is just a case study from our publishing company last year. I'm sure that the results will change, especially as the company evolves and grows. Subscribe and hit the bell because we have new content coming out all the time. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.